Now at 10, street takeovers are getting more dangerous on LA's new 6th Street Bridge, the latest one triggering a three car crash. The new bridge just opened barely a week ago, but it's already been the site of at least two takeovers. Police had to shut it down after the second one. KTLA 5's Pedro Rivera is live with the problem and what people are saying about it. Pedro. Micah, share like you guys mentioned, the 6th Street Bridge has been open for less than two weeks, but it's already drawn a lot of attention behind me. You can see uh, all of the traffic here in the area, even on the road. There are those tire marks from people doing donuts and skids. I've seen people doing wheelies, getting out in the middle of the road to take pictures. Uh, it has been a, a bit chaotic, including that crash that happened here just last night. And I spoke with the woman who was on the wrong end of that accident, and she says she wants the person responsible to come. Forward. And now my car is gone, and now everything is just is even worse for me. In a split second, Jessica Pugach went from admiring the new Sixth Street Bridge to utter shock. And I look to this side, and I'm like, oh, that's so nice. And I look back, like, oh, they're they're doing donuts. That's so cool. And then turn back to see the rest of the view, and then come back around, and bam. After finishing up a DoorDash delivery in the area around 10:30 Monday night, Jessica went out of her way to cruise over the newly constructed bridge, not knowing a street takeover was happening on the other side. The driver of this white Dodge Challenger lost control while spinning his tires, hitting her car on the opposite side of the road. With enough force, the airbags were deployed and her car was totaled. He hit me. When he hit me, I blacked out. The pictures show what's left of her 2021 Nissan Sentra SR, a car Jessica says she saved up for and was proud to own. And now it's got stripped away by someone who didn't even care to at least stop or see if I was alive. Like, it's kind of sad, you know? So I was like, I'm just glad I'm alive. This video shows two men get out of the white Challenger, walk away, leaving the car behind. LAPD tells KTLA the accident prompted them to file a hit and run report and are still looking for the driver. According to police, this is at least the second takeover on the $588 million bridge. Uh, I think they just. This video from Sky 5 on Monday night shows people getting out of their car, stopping traffic to take photos. Sunday night, there was another takeover with cars doing burnouts, leaving tire marks on the road. Two men even deciding to climb on top one of the arches. Since its opening, hundreds of Angelinos have made their way to the iconic bridge to snap a photo, with downtown LA as a perfect backdrop. Others dangerously standing in the middle of the road to take pictures. Jessica, who once thought takeovers were cool, now says it'll be some time before she heads back to the viaduct. And to that bridge, never going again at nighttime, or I don't think barely in the daytime because people are still going crazy in the daytime. And you can see right here, we got a man in the middle of the road riding on a bicycle backwards. I mean, it's been a lot of stuff like this happening here that we've noticed tonight. And as for Jessica, that car was her livelihood. So she has started a GoFundMe page hoping to raise money so she can get a new car. Right now, she's been relying on friends to get her around the city. And also, I did speak to someone off camera who told me that he lives in this neighborhood. And so far, parking has been such an issue. So many people parking in the back neighborhoods in Boyle Heights to walk over and then come see. The bridge. Unfortunately, that crash happened, and police they say they're still looking for that driver.